Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm Brett. It's a new week of comics, and in your hands is one of those releases. It's Venom The End. Part of Marvel's The End series of comics. Uh, basically, they're a bunch of one-shots that focus on kind of the uh, the last moments or days or whatever you want to call it of uh, some pretty key characters. The first one being Miles Morales, uh, Venom being the next. Um, I, you know, I, I, the thing that kind of stands out about this is you know, it's going to sound ruder than it's meant. Is I, I, I'm not quite sure I get the the point of the comics yet. I like I don't know if there's some some grander story being told. Um, if these are actually going to tie into the main series, uh, you know. Uh, beyond that, they just kind of so far feel like one shots and just you know throwaway stories. Um, nothing that really feels earth shattering or or big revelations or anything like that. They're just they're kind of there to read. So uh, it's kind of it's kind of weird to describe it like that. Like you know, it uh, so far the Miles Morales and and the Venom I got towards the end. After reading it, I said, oh, okay, that that's fine. Um, they're not comics I necessarily would like run out and get, and they're they're okay to read for me. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily buy them if I didn't get review copies. Is is what it comes down to, or or if I bought them, I would be super happy with the purchase. But they were you know they were perfectly okay. That's kind of more my thing. Um, and Ven Venom is, is interesting. Is it kind of falls like that Miles Morales one where you, where you get to the end and it's kind of just shrugging my shoulders and like, okay. Um, it's, it's an interesting comic. I mean, I think the concepts in it are completely insane. Um, it is a story that, that goes, uh, millennia, like millions of years. And <clears throat> it winds up being Venom versus artificial intelligence and kind of the end times and it's 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 insane like it's completely insane uh, as far as the concept and I actually like really like the concepts because they're completely insane uh, you know it, it's one of those that <clears throat> when you go and you read this and then you read things like like King Thor <clears throat> and uh, and his end of the universe and like him being supposed to be the the last being out there. Um, you know, it makes me think that this is just, like, a for-fun comic, so, uh, it's, it's, it's a crazy, crazy comic, like, uh, the, their dialogue is minimum, um, it's mostly told kind of as a story with pictures, um, a story like, you know, kind of more of a prose story with pictures, um, in a way, it, it might have more common with a picture book than necessarily a comic, um, so, like, the, the, the way it's it's presented, the story itself, it's it's out there. Like it's a really weird comic. Uh, so it's written by Adam Warren, Jeffrey Cruz is the artist, Guru EFX is the colors, Clayton Cowles is a letter. I show off some of the art. Um, when I say like it spans millennia, you can see right here it kind of starts off with Times Arrow and takes you through various time periods. <clears throat> and this is the end of the Venoms, the symbiotes versus um, all this artificial intelligence coming out on the God's Minds final advance. I mean, the art has some really cool panels. It's a really neat style, really neat, nice concept about it. Um, it's just one of those is like the, the idea, it's just one where you read and you're like, whoa, that's, someone took a lot of drugs coming up with this. Um, and then you get to the end also, and, and just like with Miles, it's like, all right, you know, what's next? Like, how does this tie into anything? Does this tie into anything? Like, kind of what's that bigger point? Um, and I think partially we were just kind of trained to that right now and just can't sit and maybe enjoy a one-shot comic. Um, but as far as, like, just a single comic to read, it's out there. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's got a lot of ideas out there that are thrown at you. Um, it's a comic you have to pay attention to because there's so many ideas just kind of thrown out there. Uh, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's utterly bizarre. It's like, I don't know how else to describe it. It's completely bizarre. Um... The people who would like this, I mean, if you're a Venom fan, I think you would really enjoy this. Um, if you kind of enjoy the, the end stuff so far, just want to kind of read a one-shot comic, you might enjoy this. Uh, but this is really, there, there's some, let's say, there, there's some really cool things thrown in here about Venom that it'd be fascinating to see if they bring this over to the main Venom series at all. Like there, There's some really crazy concepts there. So if you're intrigued by that statement, then this is for you. Uh, but yeah, this is out in out in comic shops this week. Uh, you can go get it. We got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that. By doing that, you help support us. But really, you should go support your comics. 
the comic shops. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for getting us up with this review copy. We appreciate it and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Vendom, if you're into Marvel, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.